Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss forecast in Tableau. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting video. So without any further delay, let's get started. So what is forecast? Forecast is used to predict future data based on the history of data or you can say forecast is used to predict what will happen in future. Let's take an example. If a user wants to know what would be the sale in the next year for this, we can use forecast. Forecast basically works on your previous year data and give us what would be the sale in the next year. Okay. For this, it use exponential smoothing technique. Exponential smoothing technique is identifying regular pattern from your existing data values and give us a prediction. Okay. Forecast is basically worked on trends and sessionality. Trends that we already discussed in our previous video. Trend is basically used to highlight trends in your data. It could be positive or negative. And sessionality is repeating variation of data over a period of time. This period of time could be weeks, years, months or quarter. Tableau follows a 12 month of cycle to predict forecasting. If the data is aggregated by months, it will use 12 month cycle. If the data is aggregated by quarter, it will use four quarter cycle. If the data is aggregated by days, it will use week cycle. Okay. Now let's see how we can use forecast in Tableau. I am using sample superstore dataset for this video. I will provide the link in the description box to download this dataset. So to use forecast, we need at least one numeric value in our both S's. So for this, let's drag order date and convert it into months. And let's drag our sales. You can see a line chart is created which is based on sales over month. Okay. Now go to analytics and go to forecast and drag forecast in our view. Okay. And now you can see a forecast is added in our view. From here, you can see there are two indicators of forecast that is actual and estimate. Actual is this, these all are actual sales that are present in our data and this is predicted by Tableau by using forecast. Okay. When you hover or click on this data points, you can see forecast indicator is actual. And when you hover or click on this, you can see forecast indicator is estimate. Okay. You can change the color of this indicator as well. For this, you can just go to color, go to edit. And if I want to assign actual color to this color and I want to send green color to estimate color and just click on OK. OK. Now you can see different color is assigned to our actual and estimate indicator. OK. Now let's edit this forecast and find its other option as well. For this, right click on this estimate values, go to forecast, go to forecast option. OK. From here you will get forecast length. Forecast length is tabular automatically giving the prediction of next 13 months. OK. If you want for exactly one year, two year, three year or one quarter, two quarter, three quarters, you can just go and change the values from here. Suppose if I want the prediction of next two years, I can just change it to two years. Now three years, four years, you can change according to your requirement. Okay. If I want the prediction for next three quarters, I can just change from years to quarter okay you can change it to months weeks days hours minutes and second okay next one is until until is basically what period of time you want to predict your values okay for this if i want to predict my values until two years i i can just go and select two years okay as of now i'm using automatic next one is source data this is basically aggregated by months that we are using in our view. If you will change it to years or other value, you will not get any forecast. Okay. Change it to our automatic values. Ignore last. So this is basically if you don't want to include any specific range of time or data in your prediction, you can just ignore them. Okay. So if Suppose I don't want to include last three months in our prediction of data. So I can just select and use this 
option okay last three months i am ignoring okay next one is fill missing values with zero if your data has some missing value you can just select this value what it will do is it will replace all the missing value with zero okay next one is forecast model there are three options available that is automatic automatic without sessionality and custom first one is automatic so automatic uses exponential smoothing model which that may have trend as well as sessional pattern okay this is you can read from here as well automatic selects an exponential smoothing model for data that may have a trend and may have a sessional pattern okay second one is automatic without sessionality as the name suggested it will use only trend okay third one is custom in the custom we can define our trend and our session as well here you will get additive and multiplicative and same for session as well okay so what is additive or multiplicative so additive is basically the sum of all the factors which are considered in our prediction and multiplicative is the product of all the factors which are considered in our prediction okay so prediction intervals show prediction interval so this is the prediction of intervals if you don't want to show this shadow so you can just unselect it and you can see we are just seeing the trend okay and we can change it to 90 95 percent 99 just go with 99 and select these values okay and change it to automatic model and from here you can read what all the values are using for the prediction you can see currently using source data from jan 29 to september 22 because we have excluded our last three months so it's using from jan 29 to september 22 to create a forecast through december 23 okay looking for a potential session pattern every 12 months okay if you want to learn more about forecast options you can just click on this link and read about it okay and just then just click on ok now let's add trend line and using linear model when you add a trend line now you can see two trend line first one is are for actual data and second one is are for estimate data ok now if we want to know what factors are to be considered in forecast and how trends and sessions are used in this forecast or we can say if we want to see the description of this forecast so how we can see it for this just right click on this estimate indicator then go to forecast go to describe forecast okay now here you can see option used to create forecast time series are month of order date measure used are sum of sales forecast forward is we are using 15 month of data from october to 23 okay forecast based on from jan 29 to september 22 ignore because we have ignored last three months session pattern is 12 month cycle because we are calculating data based on month so it's using 12 month cycle okay now here so initial value is october which is 48 780 and then change from initial is the difference from october 22 to december 23 and value is 46k and session effect session effect is basically this is the time november 23 when the session effect was high and this is the time fab 23 when session effect was low and next one is contribution what is the overall percentage of contribution of trend and session in the prediction okay and what is the quality of this trend it is good okay if you want to see the percentage in this so you can just show percentage as value and click in now you can see these are converted into percentage okay if you want to copy these values you can just copy to clipboard and paste in your worksheet okay if you want to know more about forecast summary you can just click on this link and read about it more okay now here you can see we are getting forecast indicator as actual and estimate value but if i want to change the forecast result type for this you can just go to sales go to forecast result and from change actual and forecast to trend okay 
when we select a trend it will remove sessional component from the prediction okay it will show just our trend and if we change to precision so what precision will do is it will show the prediction interval of distance from the forecast point okay if we want to change it to percentage we can just go to precision percentage and it will show precision percentage okay next one is quality quality is basically show the quality of this forecast and the scale of this quality is from 0 to 100 okay and we can see our quality of sale is 72 which is quite good next one is upper prediction interval it will show all the value which is above the confidence level percent and which is controlled by prediction interval okay next one is lower prediction value it will show 90 95 99 confidence level below the forecast value okay it is also controlled by prediction interval next one is indicator indicator is just to show these indicator value it it doesn't show any forecast okay and next one is next one is none if you don't want to show any estimate values or our forecast we can just go for this none okay and it will show only our actual values so this is how you can use forecasting to predict our future values okay thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos